morning. I think this is technically morning when I put these out. Um, well, in Europe, I think it's six, at least six hours, maybe five. So it's potentially not morning anymore where I put it, but whatever. Morning now when I'm recording this, and it's morning when I release these, at least in my time zone. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to sip my coffee and uh, welcome you to another Monday, another state. There's always more than you think. We just introduce ourselves to the W's, and I'm deciding if I'm fighting off the sneeze. I think I can do it. Um, yeah, it's like that in between time when you're like, oh, it could be a sneeze, it could not, and it's just like fluctuating up and down. I think I finally fought it off. Okay, good. Here we go. Mic is on, coffee is ready. Timer is set, and game is starting for the state of Washington. Don't confuse it with the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., or the, uh, uh, that's really it. I mean, a lot of people seem to have uh, confusion with that. <clears throat> state itself is named for the president, George Washington. Todd Road, Port of Kalama. All right, well, let's just take a look at the state here itself. We have up here in the, uh, what we call the Pacific Northwest. To the north, you've got British Columbia, part of Canada. Uh, to the west, you've got the Pacific Ocean, South Oregon, and to the east, Idaho. It is um, pretty much all rainforest. Hold on a sec, I gotta cough. Um, you've got like rainforest. It, it's when you think rainforest, you think tropical, but when you really think of the definition of rainforest, it just really has to do with um, constant rain. And that's what you get here. It's all pines, uh, it's very beautiful. I mean, there is the old adage that Seattle, it rains almost every day. It's not entirely true, but it does rain more. There's apparently more. At least there was, I don't know if any more. Rates of depression in Seattle. That is not the capital, though. The capital is Olympia, which is right down here next to a place called Tumwater. And I like that name. <laughs> um, uh, you, if you look over here into this direction, if you ever actually see it, I remember getting it once in uh, one of the GeoGuessers. I cannot remember which one. It was extremely not what you think Washington is. It's very flat. Very like almost Midwest or Midwest like. So I'm looking for a Kalama and I don't know if I'm going to find it. Nothing quick here, so I'm just going to get out here, get on the exit because we always do this to look for highway signs to let me know exactly where we are. Kalama. I'm looking for this. All right, we're on five south. So we're down here. And apparently it showed Portland to the south. So, Kalama, look at that. There we are. Um, so, zoom out a smidge. We may be, like, right there. We can hit home, see if we can't see a railroad track. Mm, that could be railroad tracks over there. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get the basics out of the way. The, I, I do have to make a quick comment about the flag, where if you've ever seen other state flags, they usually have like a deep blue background. This one's just green, and it's just a very nonplussed face of George Washington in their seal. That's what it's named after. Um, let's see here. It's the Evergreen State. Its model is Alki or Alki, by and by, in Chinook jargon, apparently. It was the 42nd state admitted to the Union on November 11th, 1889. Capital again is Olympia. The largest is Seattle. Um, it is about 71,000 square miles or 184,000 kilometers, which makes it 18th in the uh, nation for largest. It is 
Uh, the highest elevation is Mount Rainier, which is 14,000 feet. Almost, well, almost 4.4 thousand meters. Population is 7.6 million. Oh, we were on the other side. Actually, that makes more sense because we were, no, it doesn't. It was a guess on either side. I felt we were north of Kalama, but here we are. Uh, it's 13th in total population. Median household income is almost 71,000, which makes it 11th. And a lot of it has to do with um, the state itself. If it's not agriculture, they do uh, like timber, forestry, a lot of tech. Also, Boeing is um, stationed out of here in Redmond, Washington. Where is Redmond? Yeah, it's right there. So Microsoft, this is where Redmond is. It'll probably show it. I zoom out. They got two Costco's very close to each other. That's uh, surprising to me. Where is it? It should be like... Show, oh, there's Microsoft. Well, one of Microsoft's. Nintendo of USA is apparently out of there. Uh, Boeing has one of their uh, manufacturers out of here. Um, the history, at least, as far as the state itself. Like, the first mention of it, they say, was... Uh, Spanish explorers. Uh, see what it says. I know I saw it somewhere. Uh, first recorded European landing on the Washington coast was by Spanish captain Don Bruno de Hecta in 1775 on board the Santiago, part of a two-ship flotilla with the Sonora. He claimed the coastal lands up to Prince William Sound for Spain as part of their claimed rights under the Treaty of Torcidas which maintained a Pacific Spanish lake and all the shores of the Spanish Empire. Um, anyway, the, there was a bit of a um, uh, border dispute, I guess you can say, between um, Gull Candy. Uh, I think those are the headphone brands. Bit of a border dispute with the Americans and the British and a bit of the uh, um, American, British, the Russians, some of the Spanish as well, but the uh, state was made out of the western part of the western Washington Territory, excuse me, which ceded by the British Empire in 1846 in accordance with the Oregon Treaty and settlement of the Oregon Boundary Dispute, which was a big issue where um, at least the U.S. and British-owned Canada were having issue as to who controlled what was then at the time called Columbia, um, which was mainly like this chunk of the state. Um, the president at the time, James T. Polk, uh, there was a big push by the Democrats there to like say, hey, we own up to the 52nd parallel, I believe, which was like way up here, which was like an extreme claim. But eventually they ended up settling on the 48th or 40th. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I know I saw it. Now I can't because, of course, I can't. Um, I gotta figure out where we are Spokane and Colville. So Spokane is there. Uh, no, I'm getting myself. There we are. Spokane. I just saw it. Zoom out of there, Spokane. All right, then Colville. We're on Route 2. Then Route 20 is up here. Are we in Diamond Lake? Or Newport? Let's, uh... Dollars and deals. This very much looks like a uh, Midwest town. If you remember any of like uh, Nebraska's or anything, it looks like very flat, which is kind of indicative of the east of the state. Dollars and deals. Doggone wild shoes. I mean, this almost feels uh, Alaska to me too. Can I get a name of where we are? Newport branch. Newport. Yeah, we are in Newport. All right. 
I'm going to put us there and hit home. We're on a intersection that I need to find the name of. We're on a one way. Uh, it, it's it's the way this road goes. They don't put street signs anywhere, at least on this road. Give me a street name. What do we got? Washington Ave. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, oh, we weren't that far off. We're on the right road, though. I mean, technically, I think the most common street name in the entire country, the U.S. Oh, we're interesting that the border goes right in between a road here. But Second Street is the most common street name in America. Uh, let's see. So, very much on the extreme eastern border there. See, this is more reminiscent of the eastern side of the state, which I would not assume this is what it looks like. But as far as how it makes its money, it's a... See here, Vermont. Oh, Vermont. Washington is a leading lumber producer. Its rugged surface, rich in sands of stands of Douglas firs, hemlocks, ponderosa pines, white pine, spruce, larch, and cedar. Washington is the nation's largest producer of apples, hops, pears, red raspberries, spearmint oil, and sweet cherries. I've never heard that distinction between types of cherries. Um, and ranks high in the production of apricots, asparagus, dry edible peas. <laughs> Grape, lentils, peppermint oil, and potatoes. Um, they do a lot of fishing, halibut, salmon, uh, and second only to Californian wine production in the U.S. As far as manufacturing goes, they aircrafts, missiles, ship buildings, and other transportation equipment, fruit processing, metals and metal products, chemicals, and machinery. Washington has, more, Washington has more than a thousand dams, including the Grand Coulee Dam. Let's see here. And then the final little blurb about the state. Uh, Washington is one of the wealthiest and most socially liberal states in the country. The state consistently ranks among the best for life expectancy and low unemployment. Along with Colorado, Washington was one of the first states to legalize medicinal and recreational cannabis use. Among the first 36 states to legalize same-sex marriage, doing so in 2012, and was one of only four U.S. states to have begun providing legal abortions on request before the 1973 Roe v. Wade um, court ruling. State Highway 27. All right, let's find 27. There's 26, but that's in Oregon. I think we're over here. I have to try to find State Highway 27. Those are usually north to south. There's a 27, but is that State Highway 27? Um, eh, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm going to focus on it. All right, so let us have ourselves in that region of the state and hopefully find it. But this very much is like, it's Midwestern, just a slightly bit more hilly. Um, similarly, Washington voters approved a 2008 re referendum on legalization of physician-assisted suicide. It's currently one of only five states, along with Oregon, California, Colorado, and Vermont, as well as the District of Columbia, to have legalized the praxis. Um, I remember this as a kid. Uh, hearing a lot about a, his name was Dr. Jack Kaborkian. I think he died not too long ago, and he was a big proponent of doing physician-assisted suicide. And he went to court, Colfax, Steptoe Butte State Park. Look for a Colfax. Wait, was that a Colfax? Did I just see a Colfax? I did not. All right, let's take a look at this little chunk of road here and try to find a Colfax. Zoom in a bit. 
look for... Fuck, I ran out of... God damn it, I hate when I run out of time. I just completely don't pay attention. Ah, I actually had the location and everything, too. God damn it. There's Steptoe Butte. I just get too engrossed into reading things to pay attention. Man. Let's see what else. Man, that just soured my mood. But that's me being dumb. Which happens way too often. At least six, five, six times maybe? Southeast, this makes me feel that we're near like a very large city. Snoqualmie Casino, huh? Uh, Snoqualmie, I've seen that before. However, probably not going to see it unless I get a little bit more information here. This may help me. Auburn Black Diamond Road, it does not. This is in the fall. Um... A lot of fall, at least if you're not in New England region of the U.S., it's not as colorful, I've heard, because the maples specifically to the region of New England get way more color variation in their leaf compared to the other parts of the country. Green River College, Pacific Raceways. Still not get anything. I need an exit. Uh, Thank you. I mean, I don't want to be going this slow. All right. So we're going to get off on the exit, as we always do. This is a very sharp turn. Extremely sharp. Jesus. All right. Pacific Railway. Raceways. Okay. Um, get us to the entrance here. Uh, freeway entrance doesn't help me. This sign will... to east on 18. Hello, 18. You're east-west. Zoom out. Do not see you. 18. See 12. 18. 17. Hello, 18. 28. 21, 25, 20. Is this 18? That's 2. Um, where are you? Hello? Why am I, why, why aren't you showing up? There's 18. Snow quality. There we are. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're on this somewhere, maybe this. I need, we're on a very sharp turn off of here. So it was a sharp turn to the left, I mean the right. None of these really look like that though. Um, Get home, I wanna see that sign that let me know the street that we were about to get onto. That'll be of use to me. Okay, southeast 304, 312. That's like down here, isn't it? Following. Is this it? Yes, it is. We're like right there. No, we're more like eh, maybe there. Um, is there any turn in this road? No, it's very straight. So we're like, how far, how much of a turn is there behind us? A bit of one. Yeah, I'll put us here. All right. Back to information about the state. Let's see. Um, also back in, uh, 1980. Oh, well, we were much farther south than I thought. There was the... Big eruption on, why can I remember, it's, I knew the name of it, and now I'm just like, ooh, what was it called? Dummy. Let's see, where was it, where was it, where was it, where was it? Mount St. Helens, why, why did I have such a hard time remembering Mount St. Helens? 
huge eruption. It was a uh, dome volcano, uh, either a dome eruption or like the volcano was a dome. Where what happened was the state, not the state, the mountain, the lava flow underneath it really didn't have like any open like area for the volcano because when you think of the classic volcano it's like that open hole and all the lava is just bubbling in it this didn't have that so what happened was the pressure was building up underneath the cap of the mountain and i believe geologists at the time were like hey the mountain's kind of swelling and it just burst and there's a pretty good um before and after photos you can find with of the mountain itself and after the explosion happened it caused a huge landslide and it was a lot of I think it's pyroclastic where it was the type of lava there's the kind of lava that's very smooth when you kind of think of lava and then also there's the, the like craggly type I believe it was the pyroclastic where it was kind of craggly there really wasn't much lava uh, South George to when at when at she when attachy so we've got george and when at whatever it's called let's look for that 90 and 281 all right let's look for that cuz we're on 90 there's george actually 281 to george we are probably in quincy 28 where it is Route 28, so you will show up somewhere. I, I really would have thought I would have seen Wenatchee before this, but apparently we're not. I think we're in George. Yeah, is there like little signs I can see here? Um, let's see if that get off the screen. Thank you. There's Washington Trust Bank. That doesn't help me. Uh, we're going to go this way. Um, as I said, we're going to go this way. We're heading south on 281. I think this will help me center it as well. If I can actually get the sign. Ephrata and Wenatchee. All right, where is, where, where is Ephrata? 55 seconds. Winchester. Trinidad, there's one at she, and Ephrata, Ephrata, where are you? I'm not seeing it. I'm going to put us here. There's Ephrata, so we're actually, I think we're in Quincy. Very much in Quincy, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to sneeze. It's, it's come back and reared its ugly head. Excuse me, sorry. Um, maybe we're here. Eatery and spirits. What happened to my voice? I don't know. It seized up there for a moment. Mm. Uh, give me the location. I'm doing really well. You know, minus the one where I royally fucked it up. Oh, that's it. That was quicker than I uh, anticipated. But that's just a quick little rundown of the state. I never really got to sports or anything else like that. But it's a cool state. I always wanted to visit here just because hiking around in like the north, the Cascades over here, going into those rainforests sound always very cool to me. And I'm going to do it at some point. But uh, that's going to do it for us for this Monday. Um, Thank you all for watching. Big announcement for the rest of this week since the actually the gathering season end in an extremely short amount of time. I figured I'd try to get as many games in as I can before the season ends just to see if I can actually get it up in rank. So I decided to do five days worth of Magic the Gathering. Those are all going to come out at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for this entire week. And then I might think about changing it up and maybe doing a different deck, but if people have any suggestions for that or anything else, for that matter, go ahead. 
put them in the comments below with your like favorite comments and subscriptions and i gotta stop sniffling it's very unbecoming so i'm gonna end the video here and i'm gonna thank you all for watching and have a good one goodbye